making an object avoidance wearable device for the visually blind. It basically provides mobility to the visually impaired and blind people. This is a target market with uh, persons with visual disabilities. Uh, the visually impaired person will be wearing a belt and on this belt uh, there will be a kinetic sensor which collects depth data and this depth data is later sent down to the Raspberry Pi where the image processing is done and then it's sent down to the 15 haptic vibrators that's placed on the gloves. Uh, so now this is the depth data that's obtained from the kinetic sensor. Uh, the black regions indicate the objects that are very close to us, a close sensor. Uh, the white regions indicate that are very far and the grey, uh, the mid regions are indicated by the various shades of grey. This is the high resolution depth data and then we are converting this high resolution depth data into a 5 by 3 resolution 15 pixel block data. Each of these 15 pixel block data are mapped onto the 15 uh, haptic vibrators that are present. The high resolution depth data and this is the uh, low, low resolution uh, depth data. Now depending upon um, whether the person is very near to uh, me, uh, when you are near to the sensor, uh, the vibrators will vibrate a higher intensity and the person uh, is uh, in mid range. Now, if, it's, if it's grey, then vibrate at a lower intensity and if the, per, if the uh, obstacle is very far from the sensor, it won't vibrate at all. This will be how the layout of the motors will be on the gloves. Uh, e there will be three motors on each joint of the finger. Initially, when we started um, uh, thinking of the idea and the product, uh, we we didn't get time to go for a field visit and uh, visit people who are visually impaired. But once we went for the Coimbatore uh, uh, Eantra uh, Regional Finals, uh, we were told to uh, try that also. So once we talked to pe uh, the people, we got more idea of uh, how they are facing uh, the uh, problems with uh, the existing uh, products and we could improve on our own product. Actually, we do is we go to uh, the labs in our college, do what the experiments are told, and we just do it because it is a uh, we have to do it. But once we started doing this, you know, we started getting to uh, getting an idea of how you can use Raspberry Pis, Arduinos, how you can control things, you know, uh, run motors, all those. So uh, this was more of a fun journey than what usually uh, college labs. Do. Uh, tell us to uh, do the things at the right time. EYAC help us to uh, have weekly meets and they will be correcting us in all ways and um, they told we will be giving tasks. We are actually using a um, coin size vibrator to let the person uh, know about what's in front of him or her. Uh, to increase the accuracy, uh, what we came up, we came up with an idea like uh, there is that we are trying to put a coin size object uh, like behind the vibrator like to give it a more a precise uh, you know, vibrational feedback to the uh, blind person. I was a sort of person who never really enjoyed uh, doing distance proposals and all. Uh, it was not my cup of tea but then after this I was doing it many times uh, preparing videos for uh, Yantra for the all the uh, spins and uh, even um, preparing the PPTs, it was, uh, I didn't like it at first to be told, but then now I, I, got, I got an idea of what it really is and it's fun doing it now. Through this EYIC, we were, uh, means we four only thought of, okay, participating in EYIC and implementing our project, that's it. But now we all four have a mind of entrepreneurs to make this as a business and this as our product, this as our company, we have a vision in that. We have a dream or vision to make our product into business, market and exporting like that. really great exposure to know more about yourself to learn learning is a basic and important thing we can do in our life so without this uh, project i think i can't learn this sort of things not coming to the finals or regional finals matters only matters what you learn in our mind this was a seed we are keeping that seed in every hackathon like that presenting, presenting the PPT, that's it. That was the end of that field. So after coming to EYC, we just uh, plough the soil and put the seed and cover the soil and just we need to give water every week. 
through our mangoes we we give the water in any sprouting is there any leaves are coming we just looking through one one leaf was looking so second one yeah leaves come the uh, plant become some like shrubs like that okay in the third one plant become somewhat tall this mangoes are helping they are watering our plant okay then after fourth one yeah plant become somewhat high yeah so uh, fourth month the planting is uh, the watering is really high mentors are with us always so after the six months the plant turned into tree so you can see this tree here it's always giving fruit right like that we are expecting our project will be a fruitful for many blind people many disabled people yeah thank you